Far in the future, long after you're dead, the inhabitants of Earth aren't right in the head. They've bred themselves daft and have become rather slow, so simple things today make them stop and say, whoa. Three typical folks of this far-flung future time were on a break from their jobs in a solar mine, when from out of the sky there fell a small pack that crashed to the ground like some strange attack. What is this? It's a box. It fell from the sky. Well, it must belong to someone. We mustn't pry. Poppycock, it's ours to do with what we wish. From how high did it fall if it didn't all squish? Perhaps it's a bomb and will explode if it's loosed. If we open it together, the risk is reduced. One, two, three hands together. Now it's all steady. Yes, I feel better. I feel safer already. What are these? Oh. Something hard, also soft to the touch. Be gentle, you don't want to squish it too much. From the scent, I'd say that these need to be chewed. I like your thinking, friend. It, it's really quite shrewd. <laughs> if you think so, though, it seems quite the risk. If only they'd watch the instructional disc. Agent 136, what you have before you is the latest invention from my team of buffins at the lab. Gum. Gum that could solve all of your problems on future missions. Should you come across any financial troubles, try the strawberry. Each chew turns the saliva in your mouth to precious jewels. Just don't swallow it, old chap. <laughs> the grape flavored variety is a really wonderful effect that I'm particularly proud of. With a chomp, you'll be transported anywhere you're not. It's the perfect emergency getaway tool in a pinch. In a blink, he was gone, traveling through time and space, <coughs> reappearing in front of a beautiful face. It was she, Barb, his true love from his job. But the shock of appearing made him call aloud. Bob? There's so much I've been meaning to tell you all of these years, but couldn't get past my horrible fears. I love you. I want you. I need you right quick. Now take off your pants and give me that. But one more quick chew of his bubblegum load and he found himself on some faraway road. Our last little friend should have stopped when she could because chewing that gum would do her no good. The last gum, it's a little different than the rest. No doubt your enemies will find out about your secret cache of chewable tools, so this one is a decoy. Like the man in the film said, hasta lasagna, don't get any on ya. <laughs> so to next generations who might see this story, don't bite into things that might make you sorry. These gums are all still prototypes, of course, but I am confident that the great scientific minds of the future will be able to work out the kinks. <laughs> <laughs>